Hey guys, welcome back to Sean Does DIY. Well, I've had a few requests to show you how I edit my videos. So when I did the uh, shop vac dust collection system video, I did also did like a behind the scenes kind of look at how it goes into making these videos. And uh, so this time I thought I'd go ahead and we'll jump on the computer into Premiere and I'll show you how I edit them. All right guys, let's get started. All right guys, let's get into editing this video. So I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, I've been using it for years uh, in the Air Force in my broadcast career there uh, and for other projects and stuff. All right, so I just thought I might just get a quick, give you a quick overview of Premiere if you've never used it. I mean, most non-linear editors are pretty much the same, you know, it just depends on the features and things they have. Um, so if you look at, say here on, uh, on uh, Premiere, I got my program monitor over here this is where the final project basically once you get everything edited and as you edit it that's where you can kind of see what you're looking at as you go over here is i i have uh, effects controls and now you can set up premiere with the panels and things wherever you like um, a lot of people once they really get into it they kind of have the way they like it because they know where everything is and this is the way i have it um, so yeah so over here you have your source where if you want to you know you're looking at your clips you brought in to trim whatever you want grab the piece out of the clip that's where that is I also keep uh, the effects control panel up here as well um, over here is the effects that uh, comes with Premiere I have a few extra add-ons but um, over here is my info panel where it gives me you know length of a clip and other information um, down here is just uh, this is a your your tells you where your your pointer is and then other stuff about the video and audio uh, tracks you might have and of course, this is your timeline. This is where you have all your sequences um, to, you know, that's, this is where your editing is gonna be done. Uh, and over here, I have my project panel uh, where I have uh, bins set up, little file folders. Um, uh, so like I have audio. Basically what I've done is I've created, basic, I call it a, my SDD template, Sean does DIY template. Uh, and I have a bunch of stuff already loaded into it. So I just start a new project and then I save it as whatever I'm gonna call the project. Um, so like I said, I have a bunch of audio in here that I use a lot. Um, I have one called Clip Renders. It's if I need to uh, do a clip um, rendered out for something, if I'm gonna do some special you know, graphics or something with it. And here, if I have any graphics I'm gonna put in a video. Um, and here's motion graphics. This is stuff I've done in Premiere and After Effects. Um, like I have different intros for the different projects, um, things like that, uh, you know, YouTube subscribe button, uh, a little stinger, things like that. So, yeah, uh, and then I have one called Raw Vid where I, I bring all my clips into and it just helps me stay organized. And then I have slugs, which is, you know, whatever. And then of course, this is gonna be your sequence, which will be over here in the timeline. All right, enough of that, <laughs> let's get into it. So what I like to do is I get my clips and um, I'm using a, an Icon Z50 as the main camera in this one. So let's just see what this clip is. There's me getting the camera turned on, nice. Going, it's hot, and I'm staring at the camera because I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. And if you've ever done any kind of stand ups in front of cameras, usually your last take is the best one. <laughs> um, let's see what Hey we guys, got. welcome back to Sean Does DI. Yeah, yeah, I messed up. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to Sean Does DI. Yeah, all right. Hey guys, welcome back to Sean Does DIY. Today I'm gonna talk about my simple dust collection system that I have here. Then I don't know what I'm saying, but here, so we're gonna go ahead and get to the end here. Um, and it's probably gonna be my last one. Let's see. In your small shop without breaking the bank. Let's get started. All right, so I know that's the clip I want. That's the out. So I'm going to hit O, keep on my out point, or you could uh, click right here. And then let's see, I'm going to slide it over here, find the beginning of that. Today I'm going to talk about my simple dust collection system that I set up here in my small garage shop. Maybe it's something that could work for you in your shop. Huh? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty Hey close. guys, welcome back. So I is my intro point. Hey guys, welcome back to Sean Does DIY. Today I'm gonna to talk about the simple dust collection system that I set up here in my small garage shop. Maybe it's something that could work for you in your small shop without breaking the bank. All right, that's too much, let's go up here. That I set up here in my small garage shop. Maybe it's something that... Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back to Sean Does DIY. Today I'm gonna to talk about the simple dust collection system that I set up here in my small garage shop. Maybe it's something that could work for you in your shop without breaking the bank. That one wasn't too bad, but uh, I think I did another one. Let's see. Hey guys, welcome back to Sean Does DIY. Today I'm gonna to talk about the simple dust collection system that I set up here in my small garage shop. 
Maybe it's something that can work for you in your small shop without breaking the bank. Let's get started. All right, cool. So that's the clip I want. So there's a couple ways you could do it. If I just wanted the video, I could just grab this little guy right here, drag video only, or just drag the audio. But I want both, so I'm just gonna click up here in the middle, and I'm gonna drag it down to my timeline, down there. And I'm gonna zoom in. Um, I'm holding Option and using my mouse wheel, or you could use the slider down here to zoom in and out. All right, slide it all the way over. So I know that's good. And I just like to kind of lay them all down there, rough cut, uh, until I figure out what I want. All right, so let's see, what's the next one? What's on this one? Let's see. So we can put together this simple dust collection system. All right, so this is me going talking about going down. Let's see. And probably the last one is the good one. Let's see. We're here in the shop. Let's see. Uh, it's fun. I love making these videos. Um, yeah. So, cool. All right, well, behind the scenes with Sean does DIY. Oh, I did a behind the scenes one. That's when I shot the behind the scenes in outro, too. So I haven't had... So let's see. For, you know, a month or two, and then empty it out, clean the filter off, throw it all back in there, and be good. So, yeah, cool. Well, I hope you found the video helpful. Um, if you got any questions, you know, feel free to ask down in the comments below, or you can email me. I'll put the link down there as well, um, and I'll answer anything I can. Oh, you know what? There's one more thing. Um, with these, so I just hit L. Uh, that scrubs fast. Uh, I don't need to listen to myself talk. Deal. Up here like this, in the vertical. Here on the like I said, if you got any questions, uh, please feel free to ask, and I'll answer anything I can. I got it. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. All right, I'm hitting spacebar pauses. Um, so there's the end of that one. I'm going to hit my outro point right there. O. And let's find the beginning of this video here. I'm down talking about stuff underneath. Where? Um, you know, all over the place and grounded and all that kind of stuff. The table saw or the same, the various pieces of equipment, the table, and all that stuff. Um, you know, for something like this, I have three or four pieces. All right, so we can put together, so we can put together this simple dust collection system for, you know, a small shop garage. Uh, so we can put together this simple dust collection system for, you know, a small shop in a garage like this with uh, relative ease and inexpense. Uh, I don't need to go out and purchase, you know, a big giant cyclone dust collection system and have to run tubing everywhere, um, you know, all over the place and grounded and all that kind of stuff. Um, everything I got, with the exception of these uh, blast gates, I got from the Big Orange Box store, um, you know. Uh, relatively inexpensive. So, you know, let's start with, I got these hoses here, just a couple extras, like, what's a table saw or the sander or the bandsaw, you know, whatever I need to use. Um, and then underneath the bench is where the shop bath is, that, you know, is the dust collection system. So we're gonna take a look at this. Uh, All right, so I know that's the clip I want. So I'm just gonna drag it down. I'm just gonna stick it right on the end of that one. All right, and that's got my outro and everything already in it. So that's good. I'm gonna scroll to the end here. Let's see, find the end. All right. That's sealed yep. or whatever. All right, so now I'm going to get my other uh, clip. So I have a cannon that I had on the floor. And I'm going to find the intro for that. Let's see. And he's standing up, talking again. So, you're going to worry, it's like, oh, if I break that, that seal or whatever, is you're going to lose suction. I haven't heard this. So, so simple fix. Uh, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. All right, there's the exit for that one. The outro. Let's see. Scroll through here. Let's see. Find the all right, so we can put together. All right. So we can put together this simple dust collection system for you know a small shop garage. Uh, so we can put together this simple dust collection system for, you know, a small shop in a garage. Like All right, so that's probably it right there. I'm just gonna throw this up here right on top for now, and then we'll get it lined up later. All right, let's sign the GoPro. So we had a GoPro underneath the bench, and I don't need very much of this one, I don't think. Let's see, where's this? Oh, here we go. We know we need me sticking my hand in there, huh? pointing at some stuff. So somewhere around there, maybe. And you can you can always uh, you know adjust these uh, 
later, you know, once you're in the timeline. So I'm just gonna grab that one, throw it right there for now. We'll figure out where it goes. And this GoPro is over there. See, yeah, there's me pointing, that's probably what I want. Yeah. that I'll throw this one up here all right so now now that I got all my uh, uh, clips that I want in my sequence I can come down here and let's see if we can figure out where they go all right so what you can look at the uh, the waveform for the audio is the easiest way and I can see that that's pretty close so I know that if I slide this one over a little bit get pretty close and I just tap S that turns off uh, snapping it's relatively inexpensive so you know let's start with I got these hoses here just a couple extras that I can look to so that sounds pretty good those like they're lined up or the bandsaw, you know, whatever I need as you can use. hear it if I move it a little bit or like this way let's see what it sounds like yeah. relatively, inexpensive. relatively inexpensive so you know so you let's get start with I got these all right put it back where it was Alright. Cool. Alright, let's see. Let's take a look at the GoPros. Close those smaller. Actually, I want to leave this one open. Close that one smaller. I'm going to mute that one for the floor camera. And let's see. Let's see if we can figure out what do we got going on here. I'm going to mute this bottom one. And take it apart. Alright, not even close. <laughs> Usually what I like to do is I do like a clapboard type thing. I just use my hands and make a clapping sound. But I don't remember if I did it on this one or not. So that looks like, oops, I don't need that one, this one. Just kind of eyeballing what the waveforms look like. It looks similar when we get it close. I don't know if that, that might be this right about here somewhere it looks about. Let's see. Ran the, the PVC yeah, with these the rubber couplings. Uh, to get, uh, you know, to, to get the, so we'll go take a look where I wanted this. to put the connection. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, so the first thing I did uh, I just got the was shot back. I took. Let's see. Yeah, make that bigger so I can see it. This part gets kind of tedious, so I'm just gonna let the, I'm gonna zoom through this here when I do the final edit on this video while I find this stuff here. Right. The, dust, the dust collection system. So we'll go take, so a, we'll look go at take a look. There we go, we're getting close. All right, so I can see that this peak and this peak are uh, the ones I want. And let's see, I'm gonna get nice and close so I can get them lined up. <laughs> It looks like I'm about a frame off. Maybe. Let's see what it sounds like. Um, and then underneath the bench is where the shot Sounds happens. good to me. All right, so now this other one's probably going to be pretty close to there. So we'll make that one smaller. We'll make this guy. Oops. Plug like an extension cord with the shop back is. There we go. I think I found it. All right. Cool. I haven't had really the need to do that just yet, but it's really easy to to expand this. I haven't had really the need to do that. All right. There we go. All right. So I got everything lined up. All right. So I don't need those because I'm going to use my main camera audio is the entire audio. So, 
a right. you know, uh, relatively inexpensive. So, you know, let's start with, I got these hoses here, just a couple extras that I could hook to the table saw or the sander or the bandsaw. Right. saw. So now they got everything locked in where I want it to be. Now I can start, I'm just gonna make these smaller. So I'm, I can grab the end there, the little red arrow guy pops up and garage like this with uh, relative ease this and, and expense. Uh, I don't need to go out and purchase, you know, a big giant cyclone dust collection system. All right, we saw that. Okay, here's where we drop down. The dust collection system. Right. So we'll go take a look at this. So I'm gonna pause it right there. I'm gonna grab this guy. Let's see. Uh, it's really... Maybe, maybe over a little bit more. Let's see. So we'll go take a look at this. Uh, it's really easy. Um, and I just I cut got my head off. Back. <laughs> I just shoved it under there. I uh, didn't put all the wheels and all that kind of stuff on there. I uh, didn't really need it. Um, and then I just ran the, the PVC with these rubber coupling. So here's me reaching in. So I think I'm going to have to pointing at stuff in there. Uh, so the first thing I did was I took. All right. So let's find uh, this guy. That. Took the shot back. I took the hose that came with it, and I just cut it so that I could put it in the, uh, you know, in this rubber coupling right there. Uh, and it's super interesting. I can just take it off, like you know, like so. Yep. Do all that, and then kind of move it out. So I think I, what I want to do is I want to cut. So I'm going to hit C, and I'm going to cut that guy right there. Uh, you can see open there. It open it up. Uh, and take it apart to empty it or whatever. Real easy. Clean the filter, etc. Shove it back in. Sure. And then when I need to put it back in, just run the, put the hose right back on, clip it down, and you're good to go. It's out of the way. Clip it down, and you're good to go. It's out of the way. All right. Cut that again. Way, no big deal. Um, so the, the piping is just standard two inch PVC piping that you know, I got from, from the orange store uh, with the rubber couplings that are attached to the blast gates and stuff. Um, so what you can see here is, is you know, it's hooked, hooked to, the, to the piping over here and then and it comes out here for this gate, which goes to the table, <laughs> to the piping over here and then and it comes this guy is out here for this gate, which goes to the table saw or whatever the piece of equipment I might have out in the shop. Uh, and then it come, comes up, hits a Y, and then goes up and for the radio. Here we go, man. Comes up, hits a Y, and then goes up and for the radio. I can use the arrow keys to scrub <laughs> frame at a time if I want to. Done with that one. Let's see. Um, and then there's a blast gate on the radio back there as well. Uh, and I think we're gonna go over to the other side. If you come on this side, where I come through the this little wall here on the bench, uh, um, I went ahead and added just a piece if I want to ever extend out to you know another tool or something like where I keep my bandsaw and all that. Uh, I can't, and I haven't had really the need to do that just yet. But it's really easy to to. Expand. Great shot of my arm. So uh, I just put some PVC with a cap on. There we go. I think we're done with that guy. So C, cut that. V, get you back to your direct selection tool. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Here's the toolbar over here. Um, so, it, so. No, we don't need that. I'll end up deleting that. So. Yeah, super simple, super easy. Uh, what should that look like? To, to expand the system. That cut. So uh, I just put some PVC with a cap on it so I don't lose suction. Cool. Yeah, super simple, super easy. Uh, and what else I did? Well, oh, I said I hooked it to this switch right here. Scrub through this. Yeah. See when I stand up. I don't think I need that anymore. So delete that guy. I just hit the delete key. Eventually, I'll stand up. There we go. Let's see. Back together and get back to work. Um, yeah. So that's the. Uh, there we go. Cut this guy here. Get towards the end. That's good. That's the simple system I got here in the in the shop. Anymore. It work, works great. Um, haven't had any issues. 
back here behind them. Was kind of where it's like, please feel free to ask and I'll answer anything I can. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. See you next time. All right, so there's the end. So I got out of the clips laid out. Um, so that's, you know, that's the majority of it really. Now, what I like to do is I'll go through and um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and do a quick color correction on this. Uh, so I use, uh, so if you come over here to your effects panel, and then go to video effects, color correction, and I use Lumetri, uh, which comes with Premiere. So just throw Lumetri right, just drag the effect right down on top of there. All right, now I can click on effects control over here, and I make sure I got it selected, which I did, so it shows up here. And I'm gonna scroll down, find my Lumetri color right here. So you have all kinds of stuff in here. So you have basic correction where you can do some white balance, you adjust the temperature, the tint, exposure, etc., like that. Um, I'm pretty happy with the exposure of this one right here, so I'm not gonna mess with any of that stuff. Um, but I am gonna give it a little curves. So this kind of helps with contrast a little bit, and you can mess with all the different colors. So if I decided I wanted it more red or something for whatever, whatever I would want that, I don't know. Uh, I just double clicked and deleted that, that point I put in. But I'm just gonna bring the white up a little bit, and I'm gonna bring the darks down just a hair. And it just kind of helps with a little bit. So now we can get, if you wanted to see what it looked like, you can go hit the little FX button right here, toggle it on and off. So there's not much difference. Oop, that's opacity. There we go. So you can see the little difference. It just kind of pops a little bit better. All right. And now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this one while I'm in color correction. So uh, this one's a little crooked, so I wanna rotate it a little bit, straighten it out. My camera wasn't, wasn't level when I set it down. So I got selected and I got a rotation over here. You can either just scrub it like this if you want to, or you can drop down the little carrot here and do the little bar, you know, the little wheel. Um, so, yeah. Put it back to zero. Okay, so it's not off by much, but I think I want to bring it maybe just a little bit this way. Yeah. And now you can see where the background, the video behind it, underneath it, is showing through. So we're just going to scale it up just a little bit. Same thing, I'm just gonna grab that, scale it up to there. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw a color correction on that one too. So Lumetri on there, scroll down. And this one might bring the exposure up just a little bit on this one. It's a different camera, so the colors are a little different, you know, just that's the way they are. So I'll bring that exposure up a hair. Uh, and then I'm gonna come, go ahead and come back down to curves, bring those up just a little bit. And, you know, you can try to get it to match as much as you want. You know, if you if you start messing with this a whole lot, you can see what happens, right? So, um, you know, it gets all kinds of funky. So it doesn't take a whole lot, but just a little bit. And we can kind of see, come right here, let's see, that color. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. All right. So, um, so now we can go ahead and hit this GoPro. Let's see. So that one's pretty dark wasn't a lot of light underneath the uh, the bench and um, so I'm gonna throw a Lumetri on that one and you can also do this before you cut it up and all the little pieces that you cut will have the same effect so that's probably what I should have done but I'll show you how you can you can easily get around that so I'm gonna bring um, on the basic correction I'm gonna bring this one up some and if you're not familiar with all these things do the easiest thing to do uh, what I've done in the you know when I first started using stuff is I throw an effect on there and I just start messing with everything what does that do what does contrast do okay you know what does temperature do oh it makes it warm or cold you know tint what can I do on tint right I can change like oh all kinds of crazy stuff um, so I'm just gonna control I'm kind of hitting command Z on a Mac here back and all the way back out to reset it all right uh, so I'm gonna bring that up a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and come back down to my curves and bring it just a hair. I'm gonna bring the blacks down a little bit. And then, yeah. So what I can do now is I can come up here to where it says Lumetri color here and I can right click and hit copy or you can hit Command Z or Command C or Control C on a PC. And then I'm gonna select that guy and I'm gonna hit Command V and it's gonna copy it right into it. So you can see, if we look at this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Command V, Command V, and I don't think we use that one anymore. So, so like this clip, we don't need it, so we're gonna delete it. All right, let's go ahead and hit this GoPro. 
And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing, see what it looks like. If it's good, I'm good. That's a little too bright, I think, on my hand here. It's kind of washing out. Um, so I'm going to come back over here to my exposure. I'm going to bring the exposure down a little bit. And then I'm going to come back over to the curve. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this curve. I'm going to start a new one. So just a tiny bit. And then over here, you know, that's probably close enough. All right, let's see what that looked like. Uh, works. All right, so let's see. Yeah, that's good. All right, so that's it. I think we got everything color corrected. That's easy. All right, so now. You know, a small shop in a garage like this. Okay. With uh, relative ease. And so now I'm going to look at my audio. Uh, All right. So if I look at my audio, I'm looking at the VU meter over here where I keep that. And uh, VU is your volume unit. So basically it's the, you know, the scale. And what you want typically is you want to make sure all your audio is about the same, right? So you want to have, you can see where it, I'm going to turn it up so you can see it. Let's start with, I got these. So you see right there, when you get this red, that means you're peaking. You don't want peaking. So I need to turn it down. So I'm grabbing this line right here in the middle. Uh, you can do that, or you can come over here to your effects panel and find the audio, which is all the way at the bottom. And you can do the level right here. So it's 2.7 2 decibels right now, and you can adjust it that way. So you can see the line move. But, um, no, I put a keyframe in there. I don't want the keyframe. So I'm going to turn the keyframes off. I don't need them on. Uh, I just hit the turn keyframes on and off is here. On You hit the little stopwatch guy. All right, so let's turn this back down these hoses here just so basically what i like to have is i, I want it to just peek the saw, into the, the yellow sander, area the before it hits the red and whatever i need to use and i want to make sure all my audio um, is the same level the across so you know like you're watching tv right and you're watching a show and it's you got to set your volume set to comfortable the next thing a commercial comes on and it's super loud which is really annoying Shop so i don't like that, that you know is the um, dust collection system so we'll go take yeah. a look at this. So you can see it peeking uh, in the really orange easy. just a little bit. See, that's uh, too high right there. That's me. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit, tiny bit. Uh, it's really easy. Close um, enough. I, All right. So that's it. And we don't need these other audios. Um, so I'm not worried about those. I just got the shot back. I just shoved it under there. OK. Piece of cake. So now we're almost done, really. Um, so one thing I am going to do is I'm going to grab everything. And I'm going to group it. So I right click. I'm going to hit group right here. All right, so that means that if I move it, they all move together and I don't accidentally do it. Because I'm going to go ahead and add my quick intro. So I'm going to grab my intro. Let's see. I have one that's called Shop Projects right here. I'm going to go ahead and throw that over here. And so I made this in uh, Premiere. I think, yeah, I made this one in Premiere or After Effects. I can't remember. All right, so, oh, you know, we didn't get this. Let's make sure we tighten this up a little bit. Hey, guys. And it's the same video, so what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna ungroup. Um, so I'm gonna come up here, right click, ungroup. And I just want to, what I want to do is I want to grab that Lemetri I just did on that one because it's the same shot. Copy it. And I'm gonna zoom back in, option, and scroll on your mouse. And I'm just gonna paste it. Command uh, V, there we go. Let's see. Does that do it? Let's see. It's a little bit. Might have been a little darker when I actually shot that. So let's bring that, uh, let's bring the exposure up a little bit on this guy. Oh, too much. <laughs> there we go. That should be good. Yeah. Set up here in my small garage shop. All right. Let's raise the volume a little bit on that one. Maybe it's something that could work for you in your small shop without breaking the bank. Let's, let's get, get started. started. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to tighten up the beginning here. You can see me, you don't want to see me standing around for a second going, whatever hey guys so usually what I do is right when I start waving my hand because that's kind of my the way I always start a video let's see hey guys welcome back to Sean does DIY close enough all right so now I can come over here I'll, I'll break in the bank let's, let's get, get started. started all right so I know that's gonna be the end of there and I'm gonna grab my uh, intro and let's see I can unmute that guy start so that's too loud I like, I like to have that one not as loud so it's not jolting. And Sorry. and I, I want to put a, a um, little quick fade in on that, basically. Fade from, fade, you know, whatever. Fade up. Opacity. So I got it selected. 
I'm right at the first frame of that one. So I'm gonna come over here to opacity, right? I'm gonna hit the stopwatch button so I can uh, put a keyframe in there. All right, so I'm gonna add a keyframe right there. I'm gonna make it zero. So that means it's zero opacity, you can see through it, right? I'm gonna move forward 10 frames or so. So I'm gonna count hitting the uh, right arrow key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna make it 100. Bring it all the way back up. So now you can see it's just a quick fade in. Get started. Yep. Okay, and then we'll come over here to where I've got the little, my logo thing pops up. And right in there, we're gonna add another keyframe. And then we're gonna move forward. 10 or so, another keyframe, and it's zero, and that's gonna go away. All right, so now, what I can do is, I wanna, I wanna make sure I regroup all these, so I'm gonna group them, and we're gonna come down, slide that in right in there somewhere. Yeah, so. Simple. I'm gonna slide that over to that first keyframe. Simple dust collection system. Nope, oh, wait. Simple dust collection system. Okay, so I need to tighten that up. I got it cut too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ungroup them again. <laughs> and find the... Get this simple dust. All right, that's way off. All right, there it is. Let's see. So we can put together... So we can... Put all right, now, <laughs> all right, group them back again. And let's slide this guy over a little bit like that. Let's see where we can put it. Yeah. One more. Let's see. So we can put together there this go. simple dust. good, right? I think so. So we can put together this simple dust collection system for, you know, a small shop. And a okay. And that's pretty much it on that. And then, um, a garage like this with, uh, <clears throat> all right, you and your small shop without breaking the bank. Let's get started. So that's pretty much it. Now I like to throw a little audio underneath it, um, underneath the whole thing. And, um, so I'm going to lower that guy and you can actually go in if you really want to, let me raise this up bigger. You can actually get rid of all these um, other tracks. What you have to do is you have to um, ungroup them, right? And then you can click this, you can unlink it because your audio and video are linked in um, Premiere. So now I could delete that audio track. Um, I can select them all, hit unlink, and then come down here and delete all those because I don't need those audio tracks. And that'll give me space to come up to my audio and just pick whichever one I want, I don't know. I tend to use uh, pretty much the same ones. That one's pretty good. So this one's seven minutes and 40 seconds long right here. This whole video is what, about five minutes or so, five and a half minutes. So we might use that one since it's a long one. All right, so we'll just, oops, we'll just grab the audio right, like that. And then we'll get it uh, kind of underneath this one, let's see. I can unmute this guy. Yeah, here, come on. Why is it not good? All right, there we go. Slide this over here, Let's see what we're looking at here. All right, and then slide that on there maybe, let's see. So we can put together this simple dust All right, collection. Obviously that's too loud because um, people that can't hear me. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna grab the, the volume bar here in the middle of the, the waveform. Exception of- Turn it down a little bit. These uh, blast gates I got- Let's see, is that too loud still maybe? Um, is it distracting? Know, uh, relatively inexpensive. Maybe a little bit, we'll turn it down just a little bit. So, you know- listen. Maybe a little more. All right. System and have to run tubing everywhere. Um, you know, all over the place. That's not too bad, I think. Um, you know, uh, still hear me. Relatively inexpensive. Got a little so, bit underneath you know, it. Let's start with. I got these hoses here. Just maybe I might just a tiny. A couple extras that I could hook to the table there we saw. Go. Or the okay, so that's pretty much it. I mean, done. Uh, you know, and then if you know you're doing things for YouTube, um, 
you know, I throw in this guy here. I brought him pre-made here. Um, so if you can see once it loads here, it does the comment, like, share, deal, uh, subscribe thing. It's a motion graphic. Um, so what it actually looks like uh, before I did that is I'll come over to my motion graphics. I'll find my YouTube subscribe thing, and it's going to look a whole lot different. It's huge, right? So what we can do is we're going to come over here to um, video effects. We're going to do a um, keying. We're going to get rid of the green. So like your green screen, you know, blue screen and all that stuff. Um, so we're going to use the color key. I'm just going to throw it right on top of that guy. Come back over to effects panel, effects control panel, sorry. And we're going to select, see right here it says key color. So right now it's blue, but we want to select, we want to make this color green. So we're going to hit the little eyedropper button. Bam, there it is. You can still see it's got the green kind of halo around it. So what we can do is we can mess with the, toler the tolerance and thinning, edge thinning. Um, tolerance is probably gonna get us enough. Let's see, if you go too much, you'll start seeing through it. So we just wanna get just enough to where that green halo goes away. That's good to me. Let's see. All right, now we can obviously, you know, it's too big. I don't want it right in the middle. So we're gonna come over to our scale, we'll scale it down to wherever we want it. And I usually put them in the corner. I don't want it too big. So I can come over here with my position Move it over here, move it over here. And these lines that you see on here, these are called your, your uh, title safe. Um, right here, the inner box is your title safe. So if you put titles or text or something on your video, you kind of want to keep it in there because it, it depends on type of screen. It's not such a big deal these days with the flat screens that everybody has, but you, some old tube TVs would be different. Uh, they were, you know, you might lose the titles. Um, and basically it's a percentage of the screen. I believe if I remember right, this is like 20% or something like that, or 15 and then 10% or something like that. And then this outer box, that's your video safe. So you would wanna have all the action video inside there so it wouldn't get cut off on certain TVs. Um, so yeah, so that's that. And and Premiere, you can turn those on and off right here if they're in your way. So you can also turn on a grid if you want, or um, you, know, you can take a snapshot, say I want that screen right there. Maybe that's my thumbnail, um, which I usually do because I always forget about thumbnails. Uh, for like on YouTube and so I'll go through I'll scrub through and say what do I want as my uh, you know thumbnail maybe I want there's me pointing at something I don't know um, you know it's not a great thumbnail but if I wanted that one I could hit click on the little camera icon and it would give it and I would save it to wherever I have like I have one called YouTube's video stuff video thumbnails um, but that's how I'd, I'd grab the thumbnail and, you know, I can put this guy over here at the beginning, maybe. So you guys don't forget to, you know, like and subscribe, man. All right. So there's Before, that. You know, a small up. shop in a garage like this. It might be too big. Uh, relative ease. And, and then, you know, I'll probably throw one at the end when I say, hey, thanks for watching. Questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Somewhere over here, maybe. Whatever. Is it going to lose suction? Haven't noticed any major... Maybe a little bit. No more. loss of suction at all with that little bit being cut off. So, works great. Sim sim simple fix. Um, yeah. Other than that, that's it. If you, like I said, if you got any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. And that's uh, it, I'll man. Answer anything We're I done. Can. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And we'll see, see you next time. time. All right. So that's the video. That's editing in a nutshell. Um, I love editing. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, I just clip, clip that off because it's going to cut off anyways. And then, you know, you just go ahead and export it, uh, however your editor does it. And in Premiere, I can hit Command-M. It's going to bring up a how I want to put it out. Uh, here I can click on this to change the file name if I want. Here's where it's telling me it's going to go. That's where I would also point to where I want to go. Maybe I just want the video or just the audio. I can unclick those. And then you, it comes down into here in all the different settings, you know. Right now I'm, edit, I'm I'm gonna output it at uh, 1920 by 1080, so 1080p progressively. And then here's your audio, you can set the different, if you, you know, sample rate at the different hertz if you like. 48,000 is about typical. Uh, stereo channels, yep. Um, so, and then you can get into multiplexers and add captions and all this other kind of nonsense. So, um, yeah, so that's it. Um, we'll cancel that, but. So that, that's, that's pretty much how I edit these videos. You know, obviously some of them take longer than others and you know, depending on the length and how many cameras uh, I'm using. So for this one, what I have four cameras, the main camera. Um, let's see, yeah, so I had, what we, we go right here on top of this guy. So we had, yeah, the main camera, turn those guys off. The main camera and then 
the floor camera. There it is, floor camera, and then GoPro one and GoPro two. And yeah, just to get you know those extra shots. Um, so yeah, that's it. Well, that's it guys, that's how I edit my videos. You know, I know that was kind of a long one because I didn't really want to, you know, cut stuff up and, you know, take stuff out, speed things up, uh, in case you were looking for something specific while editing your own videos. Uh, you know, if you found that video helpful, you liked it, you can hit that thumbs up button. Uh, you can hit the subscribe button if you'd like to do that too, that'd be pretty sweet. And if you, uh, you know, want me to do more videos like that, uh, leave me comments down in the uh, comment section below. All right guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.